So this is question uh, seven from the June 2013 um, C123 exam. Okay, so this is another longer answer question. Um, you are given some information about traffic light um, coding in terms of how much salt is um, recommended within food. Um, you're then given three statements from three different people. The first is Mary says that they should use traffic light codes um, to make sure that you're not eating too much salt. Joe says the traffic lights um, code is no good since it does not tell them their daily salt intake. And the third says Sally um, says it does not matter what they buy as salt is good for you. Okay, so your task is to decide whether each person is correct and ex uh, whether or not sorry each person is correct and explain why. So that means you need to comment on each of them. If you don't comment on each of them, you're going to uh, lose marks. Okay, so let's take each person individually. So uh, Mary says that they should use traffic light uh, traffic light coding uh, to make sure that they're not eating too much salt. Um, well, I should hope you recognise this as being um, correct. Okay, if we look at the mark scheme here, um, it does say um, that here Mary is correct, um, and that's the reasons given are here. Okay, so if you just pause the video here, that will help you read through those. Okay, then. Um, Let's look at what Joe says. He says that the code is no good since it doesn't tell you of their daily salt intake. Um, well, he's partially correct in what he's saying there. Um, and again, just have a look over the points here. You can either say that Mary is correct and Joe is partially correct, or Joe is correct and Mary is partially correct. Okay, So look over the points that are made here to back up those statements. Again, pause the video here. Okay, and the last statement from Sally then, saying that it doesn't matter um, what they buy because salt is good for you. I should hope that you recognise that as being completely incorrect. Um, salt isn't good for you. You shouldn't have too much salt in your diet at all. So looking at the mark scheme here, it's very obvious that you have to say that Sally is incorrect. And the reason is because too much salt is harmful for you, or you might go into specifics about how it's harmful. So the fact that it can give you high blood pressure, heart disease, and stroke. Okay, so for the different levels of marks then, um, if you only include an acceptable um, opinion from one of the three, so if you only comment on either Mary, Joe, or Sally, and um, back that up with some evidence, then you'll limit yourself to um, level one or two marks. Okay, um, so you might be correct in what you're saying, but you've limited yourself by only looking at one person. Okay, um, for level two, so three or four marks, you need to include opinions of two people, so either Mary and Joe, or Joe and Sally, or Mary and Sally, so two of the three. And again, you need to have um, some information backing it up, okay? Or you could um, include acceptable opinions for all three, but the evidence that you've chosen is quite weak. So you might have commented on all three, but just not very well. Okay, then for a level three answer, so for your top marks, for five or six marks here, um, you're looking at um, commenting on all three people, um, and then um, you need to have your claims backed up with um, some really good points, or some of these points that I mentioned on the right hand side. So I'd just take a few more moments, pause the video again, take a few more moments to look over this whole six mark answer. So part B asks um, about why people might ignore the advice about how much salt to eat per day. There's a number of reasons that you could look at here. Um, one might be to do with um, people not being aware of how it affects their health, um, or they're not aware that they should um, reduce the, or limit the amount of full, uh, salt that they're taking in their food. Another mo uh, point might be that they don't know which foods contain the high amount of salt. 
um, or that it's hidden in um, a lot of um, foods, particularly processed foods. Um, you might also um, talk about the fact that they don't care how much salt that they eat and um, that they don't believe that it's actually harmful or that they um, think that it's just a very small risk. Um, you might go down the route of saying that um, they think that the salt um, improves the flavour of the food, so that might be a reason why they add additional salt to their food. And finally, you could put something about a benefit being more than the risk. Um, any of the benefits, including the flavouring, um, is worth more than the risk, so any of those will get you a mark as well. Part C asks um, you to give two reasons why salt is added to food then. Um, well, there's only two that we've covered within this topic, and that's as a preservative, so preventing food from going off, and also as a, a flavouring to improve the taste.